What's up guys? We're here with Bloodline RC. We're doing an unboxing of this brand new SR10 that he just got. Yes, I just ordered it and it came yesterday and I'm just anxious to open this thing. So let's, let's get, to it. get to it. Hell yeah. Let's be careful with the knife. Safety first. Safety first. Always cut to the person, you know, like you just did. Exactly. Hey, do you remember the other week when I cut my thumb off? I do. That was yes, a good job. That was good. That was bloody. There we go. Pull the flaps back. Oh, da, 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 and it's upside down. Oh, so much for professionals. Professionals. And let's see. There we go. The SR10 by Team Associated. Ooh, this is so nice and shiny. It is. This car is going to be nice, shiny, and new, man. Yeah, always. What's it going to look like after a month, you think? Well, it's a good thing you ask here. I brought mine over. After about half a season, you're going to turn in to look like that. How much have you spent on this car since you started racing it? Uh, actually, $0 so far. Yeah, that's... I, it's a cheap... Right. I, I think it's one of the first... If you want to get into your first RC car racing experience, it's a good car to get to because there's a lot less maintenance than like your mud ball and your Savage Sprint. Right, for a ready to run car, this is a good series to go with just because most places are not allowing you to do anything at yep. all. All you can do is take the car out of the box and run it. Yep. No modifying the gearbox, no change, not even changing pinion gears, are you? Yeah, you can change pinion gears. Okay. And you can do the outside limiters on shocks and that's it. Okay, but you can't go on the internals on shocks. Nope, no internal. And limiter. no different tires either. Nope. So there you go. Everyone's about even. How many tires have you gone through? That's the first set. Okay. I know I talked to a couple guys at the track and they've been running their SR10 since what, January? Yep, about January. They said they've gone through about three sets of tires. And how much do the tires cost, you know? I think they're like 30 some, 40 some bucks. And they come pre-mounted? Yep, pre-mounted. Okay. All right, so that's not too bad. Like I said, it's a very cost efficient sport to get into, like your first one. Yep. You know, the bodies do take a beating, the car take a beating, and you really don't break much. If you check out any of our race videos of the SR10s, you will see these things just take a licking and they keep on ticking. Let's get this thing open. Da 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 da. Paperwork? That's and that's what you get. Paperwork. That's all you get. There's nothing in there. Nothing no. else. You get your tools, like basic tools, basic information about your SR10. You can read it if you want to. I don't think anyone does. Hey, the car's stuck. Oh, dude, look at that. Tentacle. Um, all right, we got we to gotta bring out the knife and cut some more. We also need some uh, dikes over there if you got them. Dikes? Dikes, yeah. Dikes? You have never heard of dikes? Cutters. Oh. 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 You dirty-minded guy. <laughs> all right. Not where I thought he was going with that. He meant scissors. True. All right. Okay. You can't be trusted with scissors. I, <laughs> All right, I'll, be, fine. I'll be safety scissor guy. I think this whole insert comes out. I think so. Because then we're gonna we're gonna take it out, cut it out from the bottom. Now, when you're doing this, this is a two-person operation. So make sure. Yeah, you always need a flint. Flint. And then you take your box and just hit yes. the vacuum. There you go. There we go. All right, boys. It's got body clips. Four of them. Comes with body clips. You, they're yeah. not separate. Nope. That's the body. Pre painted, all in white. I mean, the body looks good. It does. I mean, but you took your stickers off right away, and I'm kind of considering that. I did, I wanted to be different, you know. I mean, this body feels robust and tough, but yours feels like a floppy, wet paper towel. Well, they really. Whew. Man, look at that. Don't want to accuse me of being a good driver. No. Well, you're a, you're a pretty good driver. <laughs> Listen, I would not discount you in any race that we go in. He, he's kind of, he's my big competition. If you can beat Kyle, you're doing all right. I just sit behind the steering wheel and turn. Look at that. And it's got yeah. that nice big foam bumper that yeah. protects it from everything. This is the best thing right here they ever put on. Look at that. You can hit as hard as you want, and that just gives. Not like you know your mud boss or your savage. He could take it now, throw it against the wall, it'll be fine. I could, but it's not mine. No, it's not his, and I, I would not be happy. That's not what a guest in someone's house does. They don't throw your RC car. Look at that; it has Velcro. Yeah, it's so, one of the weird cars that has actually has a Velcro. We're gonna for put a our battery car. pack in there, Kyle. Hey, maybe you could put the batteries in the remote because I know 
you were struggling before to put batteries in a remote. I was, you was taking them out. So let's watch this here. This should be fun. Hey, I never said I was a rocket scientist. Where's the on-off switch? Right here. It's a little little knobby thingy. Oh. Turn that on and rotate on. Is that on? This is on. Oh, I hear. Fit. Oh. Whoa! Look at that. At the power. Well, Technical difficulties. Hold on now. Why don't we have any power? Give it my power, Captain. I get. We got scared and we don't got no power. Well, hit the trigger. I'm on a trigger. Well, let me see. So you are going to rocket scientist. Well, we'll try it out. It sounds like it's pretty fast right now. I think so. Okay. This is the steering. Okay, so it does have dual rate on the steer, on the on the controller, on the transmitter, which is great because a lot of these cheap ready to runs don't have that. I mean, you remember on our tracks of Slash, that that was one of the first things we got rid of was the transmitter because it didn't have a dual rate control. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, if it wasn't for that. Those controls would be pretty good, and I they, wouldn't have needed to buy another fancy one. These also come up with gyros in them. Yes, and you keep them on for the racing, right? Uh, you gotta you gotta play with them every once in a while. I turn mine, I think, mostly off. Okay. But is there a control on here for the gyro, or is that because that was all that's all there? internal? Okay. It's got a fan on there on the speed control. All right, so I'm looking forward to running this. So, how about if we get out to the park and we'll bring you along with us as we go out there and do some bashing? Sounds good. All right. See you out there. See ya. <laughs> hey, we're back here on location at Board Town Ball Field, and we're going to give these babies hell. If you can't beat, just touch the NPO. Oh, no. You had to leave. I have. Oh, oh man, ride. I like this thing. You can bounce off each other. So, all right, now that I've run it for a few minutes, I am very happy with this purchase. This will not be going back. So, that's two cars I bought this week, but this one won't be going back. This is a keeper here. A lot of I, fun. I, yes, just going out there and running with you. It, it's great because you could door bash, you can get into each other. There's you don't flip. I mean, you can no. hit each other and have some fun with that. It's it's a full Fender Madness car. Yes, this is definitely a great car to run around. I highly recommend that you get one of these if you want to do some oval racing and you just want something you can get right out of the box that's fast with the with the twelve to, well with the brushless motor. Yep. It's really freaking fast. It's really it, fast. It's good on batteries. It doesn't kill the battery as quick. Yeah, I mean, you ran an Ironman race and I still had you, full battery after I won. Right. I got second. What were we running? What did we run? About 30 minutes, 45 minutes? Oh, at minutes? least 35 minutes. Yeah, so yeah, and the thing kept running. My mud boss, I, I killed that in no time. I even had a not have a charged battery in. Yeah, so. so I recommend these. What about you? Oh yeah, you gotta get them. Yes, these are thumbs up. If you wanna do anything, like I said, drag racing, over racing, basher. Yeah. It's worth the money. It is, it is. $340, you're ready to go. All you need is a battery and charger. Got Our recommendation, go out and buy one. And if you do, let us know. Until then, like, subscribe, and we're gonna go race. Bloodline RC. Yeah. So check us out, subscribe, like, comment. Don't forget our TikTok. Oh yeah, don't forget the TikTok. See you everyone. See ya.